Welcome friends. Topic of today's discussion is histology slides on saphantification endocrine system. Pituitary gland. Adenohypophysis contains sinusoidal capillaries and cells that is chromophiles and chromophobes. Chromophiles consist of eosinophilic acidophiles with distinct shape and basophiles which are basophilic with variable shape. Chromophobes have light staining homogeneous cytoplasm and are smaller than chromophiles. The pars nervosa or neurohyphysis contains light eosinophilic unmyelinated axons and highly eosinophilic supporting cells called pituocytes. Pars intermedia contains colloid eosinophilic field follicles. Thyroid gland Cut sections of thyroid shows follicles surrounded by connective tissue having rich capillary supply. Follicles consist of single layer of cuboidal or low columnar epithelium surrounding high eosinophilic colloid field space. Parafollicular cells are located in the periphery of follicular epithelium which are known as interfollicular and also lie within the follicle basal lamina which are known as intrafollicular. These cells are pale staining and occur as solitary cells or small clusters of cells. Adrenal gland It consists of a connective tissue capsule and parenchyma divided into cortex and inner medulla. Adrenal cortex is arranged into three zones on the basis of arrangement of cells. Zona glomerulosa Ovoid clusters of dark staining eosinophilic polygonal cells surrounded by a rich network of sinusoidal capillaries. Zona fasciculata Light staining polyhedral cells arranged as long straight cords one or two cells thick separated by sinusoidal capillaries. Zona reticularis Anastomosing cords of dark staining eosinophilic polyhedral cells separated by capillaries. Adrenal medulla consists of pale staining cells in ovoid groups arranged in the form of interconnecting cords, numerous blood capillaries, and ganglion cells. <laughs>